Hello and welcome to Video Game Trader TV where we're filming on location at Downtown Toys and Games in Arvada, Colorado. On today's episode, we bring you the extraordinary story behind Pong that you don't want to miss in our History of Games segment. Plus, we get dark and atmospheric in Aliens vs. Predator for the Atari Jaguar in our Hidden Gems segment. And we go back and find some unreleased games that never hit store shelves in our feature segment. All this and much more right here on Video Game Trader TV. Welcome to Video Game Trader TV, a companion to Video Game Trader Magazine from Isidu Publishing. I'm your host, Jim Combs. And I'm Rachel Weinstein. Pong is one of the most influential games in video game history. It revolutionized gaming as we know it, and is the simplest of games to pick up and play. In our History of Games segment, we take a look at the amazing story behind Pong and the incredible events that transpired at Andy Capp's Tavern. <music> In 1972, Atari was founded by two gentlemen, Mr. Nolan Bushnell and Mr. Ted Dabney. And when Atari hired their second employee, a young engineer named Al Alcorn, success was a sure thing for Atari. Nolan had met Mr. Alcorn at Ampax and offered Al a position at Atari if he wanted to leave Ampax. Ampax was going through rough times and Al agreed to come aboard Atari. To get Al more familiar with designing video games, Nolan wanted to create a ping pong game, so he decided to give Mr. Alcorn his first assignment. Mr. Alcorn created his own design for Pong and made some revisions to Nolan's original vision of the game. For starters, Mr. Alcorn was able to use less expensive parts to bring the game to life, and was able to expand on the gameplay mechanics. Nolan had envisioned just a paddle hitting the ball in one straight direction. Al saw an opportunity to make the paddles more flexible with the direction it hit the ball. Al was able to break a paddle into eight segments. When the ball hit the center of the paddle, it simply shot back at a 180 degree angle. When the ball hit the outside edges of the paddle, it would bounce the ball back at a 45 degree angle. And when the ball hit the other portions of the paddle, the ball would deflect at a more shallow angle. To up the challenge, rather than having the ball stay at one consistent speed as the players hit it back and forth, Al designed the game to speed up the ball in play after a long period of gameplay. With the game almost finished, it still needed sound. Nolan wanted loud cheers from a crowd when you scored a point, and Ted Dabney wanted booing and hissing when your opponent scored. Mr. Alcorn had no idea how to create those sounds and didn't have the parts to make it happen, so he took it upon himself to create his own sounds. Using the sounds the system already had instilled, Al tinkered with the sync generator to produce the sounds that have become famous with the game. Three months later, the game was finished and Nolan and Ted were very impressed by how fun the game was. Nolan decided to name the game Pong. When the first Pong machine was test marketed at Andy Capp's Tavern in Sunnyvale, California in September of 1972, so many people were hypnotized by Pong that the bucket containing the quarters overflowed so bad that the tavern owner, Bill Gaddis, thought it was broke and called Al Alcorn to come and repair it. When Mr. Alcorn arrived, he was shocked to find that there was nothing wrong at all. It was just backed up with overflowing quarters. Nolan was in Chicago trying to sell Pong to pinball giants Bally and Midway when he received a phone call from Mr. Alcorn stating what had happened and that they have a success on their hands. Nolan switched gears and told Bally that Midway turned down Pong and then he went back to Midway and told them that Bally turned down Pong. Both companies thought Pong was not that good since the other declined. Both Bally and Midway declined the offer which is exactly what Nolan wanted after hearing the success at Andy Capps. Pong was so successful that in 1974, Sears Roebuck approached Nolan to sell home console versions of Pong in their catalogs. So if you really want to date your parents, ask them what games they were playing back in the day, and I'm sure that they'll say Pong for the Atari. So now for some video game news, views, and things that are cool. In 
today's gaming news, views, and things that are cool. It's time to bust out your NES carts and start playing some 8-bit on the road. Now check this out. Hyperkin released FC Mobile, which allows you to play all NES games on the go. The FC Mobile comes with a 2.4-inch screen, a TV output connector which allows you to play your NES games on a TV, a headphone jack, and it's available in red, white, or silver. You can pick up an FC Mobile on eBay for about 40 bucks. Absolutely. That's definitely a good price for one of these. Um, as classic gamers, you probably know of the Game Axe, which is uh, another handheld Nintendo system, and you know it only plays Japanese games. You have to get an adapter to play the American games. With this FC Mobile, bam, you just pop in your American games, and you, you, know, you get to play it just like that. It's a lot cheaper. Um, very easy to find. Definitely worth picking up, throwing your old school Super Mario no Brothers, kidding. Double Dragon, and hop in the car and go. It's very it's, convenient. It's great. It's <laughs> one of those combinations that like peanut butter and jelly. It's just that awesome. It's classic. Yes. It's finally here. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This outstanding compilation contains over 40 titles from the Genesis era, featuring such hits as Streets of Rage, Shinobi, Echo the Dolphin, and more. Plus, there is tons of unlockable content, including interviews with the game's developers. Also, for the first time, you can play all these classics in full-on HD. Be sure to pick your copy up for only $29.99. That's actually a steal at $29.99. Oh, it is. I mean, 40 <laughs> Genesis games. Who doesn't love yeah. reliving their childhood? Um, it's all in HD now. That's kind of been a big thing with like Xbox Live, PlayStation oh, yeah. Network. You'll see um, like Bionic Commando rearmed in full-blown HD, yeah. and you'll see like the Super Street Fighter Turbo in HD. It makes a difference um, too. Yeah, so this is this is a good move. Everything's turning HD, and now you get to you know see all your old school games in HD. And amazing idea. Great update absolutely. and a great price. Oh, absolutely. Now, we know there are hundreds of you out there, diehard collectors, so we found an amazing program for you called Game Collector from Collectors.com. Now, the beauty of this program is that you can neatly and safely organize all of your games, including Wii, Atari 2600, Nintendo Entertainment Systems, PS3, and many other video game systems, including the more obscure consoles. So you can download data and images from the Collectors.com online database and organize your collection by title or cover image. So if you want to check out a free trial, Head on over to collectors with a Z dot com, or you can purchase a full version of Game Collector for only forty nine ninety nine. Absolutely, another one of those great ideas. Um, hardcore collectors, load this CD into your computer or download it, and um, you type in the name of your game by system. Uh, you can go and get images, so like you can find an image for Legend of Zelda, put it on there with your game, get everything listed by cover or you know type in just the game title very very organized system and it's it's great for some of those people who have like complete genesis collections exactly. or all different systems that you collect for this will help you manage them and the program is very reliable it's not going to crash or delete any of your information so you know it's going to be secure uh, definitely worth picking up or at least check out the the demo on the website if you have a Nintendo Wii and are a fan of the old school NES Rygar, then you don't want to miss Rygar The Battle of Argus for the Nintendo Wii. In this enhanced version of 2002's Rygar The Legendary Adventure for the PlayStation 2, you play as the legendary Rygar on a quest through Argus to rescue Princess Harmonia. This time around you get to use the Wii's control scheme to whirl around Rygar's disc armor to take down the baddies. Also included is Gladiator Mode, which pits you against an endless supply of enemies to dish out damaging on. If you miss Rygar on the PS2, it's time to pick up Rygar, the Battle of Argus for $39.99 and relive the adventure. That's going to be a cool game to play to check out. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's got uh, similar gameplay mechanics to games like God of War, so it being a Sony exclusive, this is a great way to kind of get um, a gist of what God of War is all about, oh, like on your cool. Nintendo system with the whole disc armor and the control scheme. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Wow, exciting stuff. Absolutely. Well, for more news, views, and things that are cool, check out Issue 11 of Video Game Trader Magazine, available now.